What's up? Welcome. Today is finally a day to check out new Ice Nine Kill song. It's that day of the month again. We are jumping into a fourth single, I believe, Funeral Derangements. Now, this is basically the last single we're gonna hear from them because next week, October 15th, it is time for Silver Scream 2, Welcome to Horrorwood. That is 100% something we're gonna be checking out. I'm super excited for that. Now, out of the singles, uh, so from the Hip to Be Scared to this, I think my favorite one is still Hip to Be Scared, but it's time for Funeral Derangements. I heard very positive things about this one. So, guys from Iceland Kill watching, what's up? Hello. Um, I'm excited to check this out. But yeah, let's get into Ice Nine Kills. Before we do, though, I wanted to quickly thank you all for subscribing. We've just hit 60,000 subscribers officially, and I'm very, very grateful for all of you. This is amazing, and um, yeah, I love you all. Let's get into Ice Nine Kills. This is based on Pet Cemetery, by the way. Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Well, maybe you don't have... Well, that's a start. Oh my god. Oh, that is a riff. Oh. What the fuck? Why is it so good? Jesus. I'll see you on the other side, but I'd kill to bring you back tonight. Don't give up, don't let go. Make this right. I'll take from sorrow and disgust. Oh yeah. Oh, this reminds me of every trick in the book. So much. Even the music video. This riff is killer. Oh my god. Pun intended. Oh, that little thunder. God damn, Spencer. Oh my, relax. <laughs> that was insane. That second verse was insane. Structurally, this is fucking great. God damn. We all know to what to expect here. A breakdown. <laughs> Spoilers. That era guitar. Holy shit. Oh. Jesus Christ, what a breakdown. This is insanity, Ice Nine Kills. Insanity. Oh my god.
I'm speechless. Killing I need some water. Killing an innocent woman is one thing. It's another thing to rip off the king. That is fucking sacrilege. Elvis? Didn't he die on the toilet? No, Stephen King. This guy. An asshole. That was literally Pet Cemetery. This guy's right, an idiot. All right. All right. Every single video. And the asshole has walked. And all we've got is a fucking pile of fucking videotapes that mean nothing. Sorry we couldn't have dug up more on this guy. We should have dug deeper. The bite marks match, <laughs> but you heard his lawyer. Yeah. Foreplay. Yeah. He's a kinky motherfucker. It was the ice pick that did her in. Three Kinda looks like Alec chest, Baldwin. Two in the stomach. Yeah, but it was the one in the back that killed her. I've heard this all before. I don't want to rehash it. You guys have did a good job, but get the fuck out of my sight, okay? Okay. Okay. You especially. Your jokes. Are really yeah. Bad. Yeah. You I'm sorry. Things. No, it's not. At this at this point, it's it's really not. I'm sorry. Three stabs in the chest. One in the back. Three in the chest. Two in the stomach. One in the back. Ugh. Come on, where's the Eureka? Three in the chest. Oh. Two in the stomach. Ah. Oh. One uh. in the back. It's the one in the back that kills. didn't kill her. Ah, he didn't kill her. In the chest. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there it is. That motherfucker. <laughs> gotcha. Be continued. Of course it is. Of course it's gonna be continued. We have an album. <laughs> well, that was it. That was Funeral Derangements. The last single before the album hits. And holy moly macaroni. Was this single fucking great. I think... I mean, I mentioned this right before uh, the reaction that my favorite one was Hip to be squ uh, Squared. Hip to be scared. But... Um, this is this is just blowing it out of the it's it's insane. This song is insane. I think this could potentially be one of my favorite Iceland Kill song ever. It's it's really heavy, isn't it? Like all the previous songs they're kind of heavy, but this one is just especially fucking disgusting. There's so much stuff happening and that breakdown, oh, don't get me started on that breakdown. That breakdown was brutal. Also, a huge role uh plays the riff of the song, which is powerful assertive as fuck but the whole song is just it's 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 a complete amazing experience authentic ice and kills experience wow I'm, I'm super impressed also spencer is killing it he's hitting some lows that i haven't heard before from him so that's that is very very awesome uh yeah this i, I love the theatrical vibe you know a lot of people would say like oh it's cringe oh it's like eh, it's very cheesy yeah it is but it's also banging it's also very good. <laughs> that's the whole point. That's the re that's the reason it's cheesy because they're d doing parodies of all these big uh, horror movies and horror stories. That's why that's where the cheese comes from, so to speak. The music itself is fucking great. The way they adapt these stories in the music form is is amazing. I'm impressed. I'm super impressed, and I'm super excited for whatever comes next. But whatever comes next is The Silver Scream 2, the sequel, Welcome to Horrorwood. It's coming out October 15th. You bet your asses we're going to check that out, of course, next week for album reaction as usual. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this new track from Iceland Kills. I fucking love the shit out of it. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for 60,000, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!